this video is probably going to be like a little bit polarizing. And when I say a little bit, I mean like revelation size polarizing. Essentially, Treyarch have announced, now that's a good way to start a sentence, they've announced that they're going to be live streaming tomorrow. So obviously on my channel, if you come to my channel, there'll be a live stream of it all. It'll be there. You can watch it in nice high definition. But Treyarch are streaming now. And this isn't their turn to stream. It's Infinite Warfare. It's Infinity Ward. It's not them but they're streaming, which I don't have anything against, but it is a little odd. And especially in the context of whereabouts they are in their own grand scheme of things, if you will. Because Treyarch gave us Gorod Krovi, and then we had a slew of trailers involving good old Dr. Monty. Hello, so nice to see all of you. And then we got Revelations, and Revelations was hyped up to be, oh my god, it's the culmination of eight years! And what it really was, was like, eight years in a mixing bowl, or a blender, and then pulsed for a few seconds, and out pops Revelations. Apothecon Servant and all. And it was alright, I'd say, but... The ending was a little bit polarizing. Again, I'll go back to that word. It left people wanting more. Hence my There's Gotta Be More series. Hence the, I guess, community kind of just overall sense of maybe a little bit of bitterness with the map. And since then, Treyarch have been kind of quiet. Which is understandable. Because it's now Infinity Ward's turn to take the reins and guide us through the year. So why are Treyarch streaming now? Nearly, not quite, but nearly one year after they released the Nikolai memory segment. Coincidence? Yes, probably. But the fact that they're streaming at all is very strange. They're saying before the holiday season kicks off and before you all go away back home for the holidays, etc. One last catch up, eh? And I'm very curious. Now, so much of me wants to go, a DLC 5, oh hey, oh, it would look great in my title. Boy, dem clicks would be glorious. But I'm gonna avoid it because uh, I think there's unfortunately been maybe a little bit too much this year of uh, both myself, admittedly, and other YouTubers getting too excited and too hopeful about what Treyarch could deliver. And I think that that hyping up and that overzealousness with titles and whatever it might be just with the real sort of expectation levels of things, meant that maps like Revelations were less enjoyable than they should have been. Because uh, I, in my head, had it on such a pedestal, and that pedestal was uh, not attainable in the slightest. It just wasn't possible to reach those heights. And it's understandable, in my defense, it's been eight years, and they hyped the damn thing up so much, and I was just so excited as a super fan of this game, and then it was like, okay, that's Revelations, cool, okay, it's done, finished, that's it. Zombies is dead, kappa. And now, the fact that they've got this stream going on, which I'm obviously extremely excited for, and when I saw it, my heart sang, and it was uh, alive again for the first moment in months. Okay, that's an exaggeration, but regardless of hyperbole, it was nice to see it. And I want to think that DLC 5 is a possibility. And I want to think that the intel that Jason promised me, that he promised all of you, for liking that one interview I did with him so much that we unlocked. I'd like to think that that might be forthcoming. There might be some even presence of Jason in the first place. That would be nice. But 
honestly, I don't know what to expect. And I think that if I were to outright say, it's DLC 5, then that would be straight up disingenuous. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get extremely excited tomorrow. And tomorrow I will say things I don't mean. Such as, this has to be DLC 7. Okay, it won't be anything as silly as that, but you get the point. I'm going to be very excited tomorrow and I'm going to be looking forward to good things. Right now though, I think that the extent of my, ah, oh, it's going to be DLC hype is going to be one tweet, which is going to be a bit of a joke. It's going to be me singing a Christmas song. So, I think generally the correct reaction to this is to keep our hats on for now, no revelations pun intended, is to just try and chill and see what Treyarch have in store, because it could be amazing, or it could be that they just want to say, hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here, we are adding some new multiplayer weapons into the game, here they are enjoy and that could be it there's no guarantee of zombies content in this there's no guarantee of jason blundell there's no guarantee it's going to be dlc5 there's no guarantee of that whatsoever there's no guarantee it'll be related to revelations or that duck or anything so let's just reel in those expectations just a little bit and hopefully we get something good tomorrow okay tune into my channel be there or be square. It's going to be at 11-ish if you're on the West Coast. Uh, let's think 4pm-ish if you're on the East Coast. And in the evening at around 7pm-ish if you're in the UK like myself. So see you on my channel then, okay? I'm going to get some sleep. I'm exhausted. See you later. Bye-bye.